If you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Joel Duggan and I am not on the Citadel, which is where I normally hang my Minecraft hat. This is the realm of Vastin, which I, I did a YouTube video about just uh, earlier this week, or I guess it was last weekend. And I finally have some time to stream from the server. I think the content I do from Vastin is gonna be mostly streaming. And then I will chop up the content and, and put it up on YouTube in, in the form of smaller um, VODs. Uh, for now, that's just the time constraints that I have this close to Christmas and with work and stuff. But I started off uh, the other the other um, video in this area. This is the spawn area on Vastin. And uh, if you don't know what Vastin is, you can go check out the intro to the realm. Uh, Fix it and a bunch of other folks on, on the realm with me. It did a very good job of explaining what we're doing this season, what the realm really is, and, and how best... Um, to play on it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I thought though, for the sake of anybody that's not familiar with Vastin or you're new to my channel that we would explain, or I would explain kind of like where we are in the world. So when you first spawn in, you spawn in in this really cool little square and you have to uh, take boats. They use fast travel in Vastin, which I think is a brilliant way uh, to get around. And I, I'm pretty sure that's the boat I have to get to over there. Uh, we'll know when I get to it. Uh, Port Bray, yeah. So Port Bray is like the nether hub of this world, except for it's not in the nether. The way that they do everything in Vastin, it's heavily lore based. So everything has to have a reason. Uh, and so what they've done is they're using uh, command blocks and fast travel on boats to uh, move from different cities uh, around the world. So you, the nether is, is, a, is an evil place and the nether is waging war on the overworld in, in the Vastin lore. So you can't go in there. Uh, it, that The idea is that you're, you're not supposed to use it as like a safe way to get from point A to point B. So they have uh, ships like this. And what I like so much about this is that it reminds me of uh, World of Warcraft and other games like that where you use boats to fast travel from point A to point B. And it just gives the chance for the game to load and, and do different things. But it saves a lot of that travel grind, you know, from, from walking the 10,000 blocks from one city to, to the other. Because this world is ginormous. So every ship has got a little button in it. And it takes you to the city where the signs say. So Port Bray, push the button. And now we're in the same boat. And this is what I think is so genius about this. Is that they build the boat in survival. And then they use command blocks and, and structure blocks to move it and, and make a, an exact copy of it. So it's built once and then they put a copy of it in the destination city. So this same boat is now here at Port Bray, which is it's going to take a long time to load in, by the way. This is, this is the huge hub city that you've probably seen in a lot of people's thumbnails. The first time I was here, I had shaders on and I, I don't think that the stream would really handle the shaders very well. So Obviously, we've got a custom texture pack, if I could speak. <clears throat> we have a custom texture pack. This is glazed terracotta, I think. Um, it's all done by Jermsey Boy. And uh, you can check out his channel and the links to everybody else on my YouTube videos for Vastin. I've got a link to everybody on the server. But uh, I get lost in Port Bray really easy. So if I lose my train of thought, it's because I'm trying to figure out how to get like way over there. Uh, I mean, I could I could use the elytra and just fly, but where's the fun in that, right? So let's, is this walkable? Uh, just barely. So let's go this way. Uh, Vanilla Raccoon says, whenever you go live, I'm either busy or too tired to tune in. So I'm happy to catch up. Oh, sweet. I'm glad that you've been enjoying, enjoying the VODs, Vanilla Raccoon. I, that's excellent feedback because I'm concerned that they're a little bit too casual. Uh because there's no intro and outro with the exception of like the beginning of the first one and the end of the last one. Everything else is just kind of like whatever time I have an opportunity to cut. Um, I don't edit them. I don't, I don't, don't go through and, and change anything about them. I just bookend them. Uh, the only thing that I will edit out if I go for like a coffee break or something like that, where there's like a, a few minutes of, of like downtime on the stream. So I'm pretty sure that this is like cobble and andesite maybe. No. It's too light. There's the andesite. So the andesite has got like this darker texture. Uh, but man, like this place is just like there's an airship. There's I'm going to do a full walking tour of these cities at some point. But like this is just monstrous. Like, look at that. Huge. Just huge. Anyway. 
easy to get distracted in this place. Uh, but we're actually going to be doing some building, which is which is going to be fun. Uh, this I believe is the ship to the coral reef. I think. Like if we go back and look at this crane on the back of it, that's new. I didn't see that the last time we were, I was on. Is there any coral in that yet? No, not yet. That's awesome. Really, really cool. So we're we're collecting coral and we've got some custom crafting recipes for like renewable coral. And this ship is the one that's going to go to and from the coral reef, much like that other ship goes back and forth between spawn and the port of Bray. And then this is eventually going to be a ship to the Ice Kingdom. I think the Ice Kingdom has yet to be named. So if you are one of my followers, uh, hit me up on Twitter at Joel Duggan with the hashtag Realm of Vastin and then suggest a name for the Ice Kingdom. We're going to be kind of pooling our, our viewers and seeing who might come up with the best name. The only trick uh, or say the only rule I should say is that it can't be an existing name from like a video game or book or movie. You have to kind of make something up because uh, um, fix it wants to avoid like copyright stuff. So eventually this command block will be on a boat and the, the lore will be a little bit <laughs> more seamless. But let's press this and go to the Ice Kingdom, which is where season three is taking place. And again, like here's the, the command block here. And that ship out there is going to be where the command block is going to be housed. Uh, it's probably going to be in that section there. So that's the, the ship to Port Bray. Thinking cap. Yeah, right. I mean, what I like to do when I name stuff, excuse me while I drink some coffee, um, is I like to look up different uh, words in different uh, languages. Like for all of my World of Warcraft characters, I used to look up like Norse or Celtic or old world names that would mean like uh, evil or, th or threat or power or something. And I had a, a warlock called Visvoro on World of Warcraft. And I don't remember whether it's Latin or Greek, but the Visvoro um, was something about f to dispel fear or to plant fear or something. Uh, I think that was, maybe that was my druid. Anyway, uh, I also had an, uh, another character, a druid, that was called Satometis, and that was, that was plant fear. Because druid planting stuff I thought was kind of cool. Uh, so man, people have been busy <laughs> on the server. I, th I think I think this is Grumpy Owl. I don't know. I'm going to get people's names wrong. I'm going to get people's builds wrong. So I apologize. But like, look at that. These overlay textures with, with cobble and uh, terracotta is spectacular. Such a cool look. So this is all new since we did this the first stream. Uh, a lot of stone and snow and all kinds of crazy stuff and i noticed some some things the other day that i thought was just mind-blowing there's a custom forest over here that's just super super cool like look at this it's so dense i need to talk to whoever did this and find out how because like this this wasn't here Th this was just non-existent like just a little while ago it's just i mean some of them might be default minecraft trees but some of them are absolutely not like it's just it's so, so well done. So well done. So there's just, there's a lot to talk about. So I feel like the first thing we need to do is just kind of break down uh, some stuff into tasks. And I'm looking at the first task right here. I broke this last night and I need to replace it. It's supposed to be a gravel block. So I need to go get a, a little bit of gravel from the storage system and uh, do that. And there's always zombies around. Hello. I want to go down. There we go. So even though I don't have any shaders on, the custom lighting stuff that uh, German Zoo Boy has done really puts m like some mood lighting in when you're inside, which I think is really, really cool. Where is that zombie? Because he is going to get real annoying. There you are. Or her. It's a girl. Sounds like a guy. But that was a that was a lady zombie. Uh, let's see here. I need gravel. Gravel and flint. Let's just grab some of this. Go back up and fix that right now before I forget. I do find it really dark inside. That's the only thing. Only, only thing. Oh, it's starting to get dark outside too. So let's just boop, gravel there. 
call that fixed. And then we can go back down here. I think we just go back this way. Here. Yeah, it is really cool, eh, Cosmic Dancer? I really, really like it. Uh, decidedly server during season three, made a small ancient Greek city and named builds after historical figures and made up names by staying true to the culture. That's really cool, Vanilla Raccoon. I, I like that idea. The more I, I get into the lore of Vast and then learn more, the more I wish I had done something similar with the Citadel. The Citadel is just kind of like a free-for-all. There's no real through line. And people tend to be building on their own a lot. So... Yeah, it's a little uh, little tricky. I decided to leave vanilla. Yeah, I, I thought that's what you meant, but I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure. All right, we're we're starving here, so let's get some food. So everything on Vastin is shared resources, uh, so I can use any of this stuff, and people can use any of the stuff that I put in these chests, which is fantastic. It makes putting large builds together very very easy. So I need, so I did not name these. These are little placeholders for item filters. Uh, I believe it was Crafting Mantis. I asked her to rename them Filter and she she listened sort of <laughs> and renamed them Joel is Awesome. Uh, but we're gonna use paper uh, as well. I don't have enough levels to do any, any additional labeling, but we're gonna need this, this. We're gonna need some spruce. We need more spruce than that. So let's grab spruce spruce and probably some stairs and some fence actually you know what i think i want dark oak fences or at least i want to try dark oak fences for some of this build uh we'll grab some spruce too won't need this okay i think that's all i'm gonna need i well lie i should check to see how many hoppers i have Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than one hopper. What wood? Oh, I'm getting low. I guess spruce is gonna be the easiest to replenish. So, mental note, we'll have to farm some spruce before we log out. Uh, I need probably 20 hoppers. So we'll just build a We'll build all the hoppers. See what I can get get up to here. Chest twenty six. Let's see if we can do twenty six hoppers too. That should get most of us. Get us most of the way, and then we can put some of this back in iron blocks. Okay. How is it on uh, on the stream for lighting? Is it too dark? Because I, I might have to figure out a way to to not use the custom torch lighting. I'm a little concerned it might be a little bit dark. This is a little taste of Vastin uh, electric geckos. Uh, it is a custom texture pack by Germsy Boy. It is based heavily on a little taste of germ. Hmm. The texture pack is actually pretty good. It's the lighting in this particular area that's dark. Uh, there's not as many torches. If we go down to my, this, see it's a little bit brighter down here because I, I just put more torches around because I find it, I found it hard on the eyes. I found it hard to see. But there's something, he did some custom light effects with torches. So you get like shader effects, even though I'm not running shaders right now. Uh, but let's, I, I go, let's just pop outside real fast just because you asked and I'll show you because it should be daylight or soon daylight. Yeah, that's why the light's flashing because it's a custom thing. Is it? Ah, see, it's nighttime outside. Let's just let's just sleep, and you'll see that it's it's specifically the inside and the custom lighting. I don't know how to do it. I know it's possible, um, but even like, see, like this has got some skylight, so it's much brighter up here, and like, so it's not a dark texture pack at all, right? I mean, if everything is bright and and as it should be. Uh, so it's only the insides that get a little bit strange. Oh, people keep, people keep
keep on moving this. Oh, did that? Okay. I think this is supposed to be on the inside. I think you're supposed to put it here. So that when you go... Well, that was productive. This, I, I really don't like this ladder. It's so troublesome. Uh, so bulk storage, we need to go down a little bit. So this is what we're working on. I'm sure people have probably seen this before. Uh, this is just some filtered bulk storage for all the things that you find in the mine. So we've got stone, we've got cobble, uh, andesite, granite, and diorite. And because people have been asking, andesite is like a dark cobble, and it also makes a dark brick instead of a polished version. And then you've got the same thing with granite is kind of like a reddish gray. And then diorite is actually a usable block. Like, look at this, right? Like, that's that's pretty cool compared to what diorite actually looks like and it makes like a whitish brick as well um doesn't work on everybody's server but because everyone on this server is using the same texture pack it, it makes a lot of sense then we've also got dirt gravel this is going to be gravel as well and then we've got ice and then all the different ores uh, and then this is just overflow stuff so what i thought i would do on stream today is complete this section of the filter because some of the people on Vastin were asking about how it's done and I thought you know what why don't I just make a video uh it's it's not anything crazy I mean it's an it's an impulse sv uh sorting design so it's not mine uh, but it's easy to follow it does the trick and I realized that I'm probably one of the more technical people on Vastin so this is going to be what we start off today with is, is adding this uh adding this uh, filter system in here. So this is missing on purpose because it's not supposed to be anything. So let's just actually, why don't we do something like this? Just so that it's, we know that it's not supposed to be a chest. So first things first, uh, I think I need to chop out this section here. And is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. Okay, so I can't remove that. So let's just put down a set of stairs here so we have easy access. We're going to remove these later, I think. So this is the waterway and the log is supposed to start there. So then this is going to be our spruce section like that. Okay. I think I've got my bearings now. Yes, I agree. Electric geckos, uh, bubble columns would be great. Unfortunately, the bubble column would go outside that, um, yurt tent. On the surface so that's why i didn't put one in uh i have bubble columns in my mind in in the citadel and i love them <laughs> they are magically fun uh i'm also going to put down more torches than we're ever going to need just for the purpose of this video because it's going to be super hard to see if we don't so it'll flicker but at least we can see what's going on so one time we were all on on Discord chat, uh, me and some of the folks from the server, and we were talking about how these filters worked and no one really kind of knew. So I thought I would explain as I go how how all of this works. So right here, we've got a, a comparator and a hopper. And now this hopper doesn't have anything in it because this doesn't have a filter. But when you have a filter, you take like a named item, uh, again, named by Crafting Mantis because she's a hoot. Um, you put four items in this section and then you put a stack here and this will trickle down to 41 and the idea is that this comparator looks at that hopper and says it's got a signal strength of two and if you put any other items in there and at this point the only item that can go in here is gravel so when this goes to 42 this signal strength of two goes to three which powers this redstone and this will go up and up and up and up and even if this has a 64 in it this will still only go three. So it won't go four and power these other sides. It stays here. But what that does, and you can see this clearly from the side here. So once this block is powered, this repeater will then draw power from it and push it into this block. And that will turn off eventually a torch. This There's gonna be a torch, a redstone torch there. Redstone torches in this pack look like candles, which again is very, very cool. So this torch is locking this block which is locking that hopper now that hopper is underneath the filter so it's not it's not this hopper here 
it's it's that this one right there that's the one that's locked so when all that signal gets through it very briefly for a tick unlocks that hopper and then the item that you want trickles down into this column of chests and that's why on the outside all these columns of chests are all the same item so if you look at something like let's say stone um where's yeah so like stone 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 so all of these filters across the back each one of them has got a stone filter there's two cobble filters and then each one of these has their own so that's what we're going to be doing on this side and these things are a little bit tricky to build um they're much easier to build in sequence as opposed to one section at a time so yeah it's one of those weird um weird things where you've got to kind of know how know how to build it and then build like each row horizontally at the same time um the redstone appears to be flickering well this redstone is flickering because it's it's powered so that's why this redstone is flickering um and i think i think it's it could be a combination of the pack but then also my textures i have a uh i have a clean redstone pack underneath all of the vast and stuff and it might be conflicting i haven't had a chance to, to check, it, check it out so that's probably what you're seeing in the chat uh, so let's let's go ahead and do this so we're going to build out uh where's the compare it where's the hopper so this log is going to be replaced with hoppers and then the comparators go here and there's five of them so one two three four five and then we need to put down our redstone box somewhere let's say here we'll need five repeaters and i'll need five torches because we're eventually going to replace that other filter and i've got my hoppers so here's the comparators and you'll see why this is easier to do in sections in just a minute uh, so then we need to come down here and find this area so this is where all of our repeaters are going to go and they all face this way And then we need two lengths for the redstone, one, two, and then we need to drop it down one. Like that. And then we have to put in this block here, which is the block that has the redstone torch on it. Like that. So that is like the cross section of one, one area, like this kind of like L shape here with a little diagonal piece and that's how the whole thing looks but now that we've got these in we can just put that across there whoops I think I ran out of spruce and you could use whatever block you want I because we're on Vastin and because things are supposed to look uh, cool and and have a meaning I decided to kind of almost design the redstone behind this so I'm using spruce because that's probably what you know as far as we'll say quote unquote lore you know with the materials that would have been available you know in this area oh you don't want to do that uh would be probably spruce so now that i've got this bed in for the comparators we can lay in all this redstone so there's two lines there or two dots there and then we've got this line across the back and that creates this drop down section so that the repeaters can draw from that and then we can also complete the cycle here with one, two, three. Now I'm leaving this one out because this is not going to have a filter. So I built the filter just because it's easier to do it now and have one and not use it than it would be to install it later. Uh, this is going to be an overflow chest. But for the sake of, of argument, you would want to have at least one row of chests that does not have a filter because you want extra stuff to go in here like zombie flesh and things that you would pick up while mining but you just don't necessarily want to keep on you um, and then we can actually add our last torch here and we're going to remove 
uh, the items from this chest, which is uh, nothing at the moment, but we're gonna put, actually, let's do this. We'll grab this and the item frame and we'll add the filter. Let's see here. Uh, I like building the item filter one layer up at a time when building my sorting systems. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. That's I think that's how we're doing it here. Um, build all of your redstone on iron blocks. Oh, because there's there's not limited resources, but because iron is going to be used for so many other things on the server, I just decided wood because it was the easiest to get access to. Uh, so one thing that's nice about coming on Vastin is that there are just so many resources. You don't have to go get anything, which is fantastic. So this is the non-filtered block. Uh, so you take your named item and you fill up this side first. And then you put in your gravel and there's your gravel filter done. Now what I want to do is I want to go grab some gravel just to kind of showcase how this actually works. Uh, so there's, let's just grab a bunch here. Whoop, I need that back. Thank you. So go up here. And so now if, if this was gravel that was coming across the top here, like say like three gravel came in, they drop in here and see it stops at 41. And we can actually see that if we put in, put in a lot, Epic C121, thanks for the follow. If we put in all this stuff and then watch it, see this will stay on until it goes down to 41 and then it'll turn off and now and then this should have 41 in it yep so that's the case so what we want to do now is make sure that we take off that sign on the outside because this filter is done get rid of that did i bring an item frame i did now this isn't going to be a named item i don't have any levels to name the gravel but we can say that this is now gravel so both of these now will sort out gravel and last but not least, we have to put in the hoppers at the very, very top uh, to complete the filter. So right now, these are reading the log and they will not be able to get a reading out of the log. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this like that. Uh, I think I will put a hopper here just for the sake of argument. And let's put a block here. This is just temporary. So now you take your hoppers and you point them into this block or you could put them into the comparator if you want to but really it doesn't matter they just can't be going down they have to be pointing across somewhere so one two three four five that's that done and this is where uh it's important that you do this stuff first because for this particular stream rather than another line of hoppers as your as your um input line we're using water, we're using water streams. So I have to put in uh, the log across the back here uh, in order to um, in order to complete and put the water in like that. So it's a real pain to put the water in there and then realize you gotta put in comparators. So you kinda wanna build up your filters first. Uh, so this is eventually gonna go, how many? We're gonna have to put in another water source, probably, probably right here. And that'll take everything the rest of the way. And this is also going to have to be a stopping point. I guess we can just, I guess we can just do that. I haven't really thought much about the design up here, but that'll be good enough for now. Do I have a bucket of water on me? I've got buckets, but no water, that's fine. Let's just pop down here. See, it does get really dark down here. I think they all, they honestly change with the time of day. Like I think as nighttime happens outside, I think it actually gets darker in this, in this cave, which I find bizarre. So we've got a bucket of water and do I have a slab? No, I'll have to make a slab. I feel like there's a crafting bench down here. I should have grabbed some when I was up at the spruce, the spruce section. So now that we have everything in place, we can just, let's block this off temporarily. Put 
put take that out I can put in another log here and then this is going to have to be ice in order for everything to pass through packed ice excuse me with a slab and then our bucket of water that will continue things on and then we can get rid of this i don't know where that went it should should have gone into the overflow chest oh no it's going to go down here because we don't have any filters in here so they're they're totally stuck that's fine uh I have to go check to see what I did for the other side because I don't think I used a stair there. I'll have to sort that out. Um, that That's looking good. I'll leave the lights up here for now. We'll have to remove the gravel from the other side and then we'll put in... I've got to remember what the other filters are. I think it's all... Yeah, it's all ore stuff for the most part. So let's get rid of gravel. Uh, is my lighting set on bright or moody? That's a really good question. Let's find out. Options. Hmm. Video settings? Graphics, mood lighting. Where do I find if it's moody? What? Where's the setting? Performance. Other. Hmm. Details. Brightness. Brightness is at plus five percent. Again, it's it's this pack. When I'm when I'm on the Citadel, it's fine. And that gave us all flint. That was not helpful at all. I guess I should collect it. Uh, do that. Okay, so we need a stack of coal stack of iron so oh, we don't have a stack of redstone yet but there's a stack upstairs that's fine so let's go get that hey there's Matt cast yeah I can't play with field of view up at 90 it gives gives me like a headache I keep it at 70 pro tip go down to 50 if you're taking screenshots they look a lot better I think I'm just going to leave the brightness where it is, Electric Echoes. Um, it, it works fine for everything else. It's just in this particular section that is a little bit dark. It also uh, is fine in my other other series. Uh, stack of redstone. And I think that was the only thing we needed, right? I don't have any levels, so I can't name the paper yet. How's it going, Matcast? How's your weekend? We're putting in filters here on Vastin. And then I promise we're going to go do some cool building. It's just that I wanted to get this out of the way for folks. Ice. Ah, I did not bring packed ice. I knew there was something. Thankfully, the storage system and the bulk storage are really close together. Uh, where is ice? Ice. I much prefer item frames. I mean, I know this would be too laggy, but I find that the signs are a little bit hard to read with this, the, the, the torch texture pack. So again, like I might try and turn that off, but it, it's kind of cool in, in, the, in the, the lore sense of it being kind of medieval and moody. So uh, let's see here. So all these are torches like that. So uh, what I like so much about this particular filter system is that you can just, if you leave yourself enough room, you can stand on this block right here and you can access the filters which is really cool so i'm thinking that this one was coal now why is that locked don't understand why that's pouring over into this other section so that's that oh no this was iron and then 
Nope, this was supposed to be ice. So ice, coal, uh, paper, iron, paper, redstone, and then no filter. So I'm confused as to what's going on here. That's bizarre. I don't know why these are all putting out a signal. They shouldn't be. These other ones are working. Didn't do anything different. Did anybody spot the mistake that I made? The repeaters are pointed the right way. There's no delay on them. The torches are all out when they should be on. What is the beef? So if I put why don't understand maybe well i haven't put the other hoppers in wow <laughs> that could be it maybe because oh i don't know there's no storage system <laughs> okay fix this real easy Now let's see. Wow, that's interesting. It really does take take the other hoppers to work. I did not know that. 41, 41, 41. Forgetful Joel is forgetful. You can tell that it's been a while since I've I've done this. Uh, so right here, I think I used dark oak. No, I use spruce. I think I like the idea of maybe changing this up a little bit for the color contrast and using dark oak. Not that it matters, no one's ever back here. Yeah, you know what? Because I don't wanna to have to go change the other ones, we'll just use, just use the spruce. The idea was just to not have floating blocks, you know, it was to kind of make it look like it was at least, you know, attached and, and some of the stuff made sense. Uh, same with like getting up on top here. Like I wanted to have it be somewhat sensical. Um, what do I have for lighting on the other side here? I have to go check this out and see what I did. So I didn't have anything here and the lighting is just in the middle and on the ends. One, two, okay. And then this is just a log. Electric Echo for the follow, thanks. I can probably actually change this into an upside down stair. That would probably make the most sense. And then did I do anything underneath here? Just a straight log across. Okay, fair enough. I like having access above the waterway here too. It's kind of fun. So let's just get rid of this right block, but it was facing the wrong way. That looks come a little bit more complete. And we'll put another one there. And then this is just already set up. And then lighting for the, I guess the view, is that there's a torch here, and then one in the middle, and then one on the end. And I think this one, the middle I can't do. Oops. And I have to get rid of that. And I think I can put one like maybe there. And then that's the end there. Uh, the reason why these planks are here is because this is all um, the upstairs floor and some of it's gravel. So if we chop it, chop out those planks, then they it all comes down. 
I think that this is all done. Uh, Germ did not add new weapons and tools. Uh, I did. This is my, here, I'll show you. Uh, options, resource packs. Joel's diamond tools. Uh, I, I have a custom diamond tools pack. I changed the texture of diamonds and I changed the texture of the tools. I'm still in the process of changing the texture of armor. Um, if you like it, I can make it available. I may send it to you. Uh, but yeah, everything everything is is a little taste of germ with the exception of one little thing. <laughs> because I don't like the blue diamond stuff. Um, but I want to change the I want to change the um, the diamond armor as well. I just haven't got around to it. So I'd say that this is probably done. We should test it, I would think. And let's just do a stack of every one of these. So a stack of iron, stack of this. We'll do 25 redstone, that's fine. So let's just kind of do some mental notes here. Well, that's gold ore. That must have been put in here by accident. This goes over here. Thanks, Pride Ceratops. I know there were a couple of custom armor textures in a scimitar that I made, so I didn't know if he expanded on that. Oh no, um, yeah, this is just me. Uh, so let's see, grab, we already have some ice. So I have several inputs for the the bulk storage. There is a waterway way down the bottom. Uh, there's also a chest right up there. You can kind of see the hopper attached to it. And then there's also an input chest down here. So let's do all the ores, some packed ice, and something that's not supposed to be in there. Ender pearls. And I think, I think that's it. One, two, three, four, overflow. And gravel's already set up. You listen for the clicking. There we go. We should start to see stuff shooting around. It's hard to see it, but you can sort of make it out. And stuff should start to be flowing into these chests. There's the coal coming in. Good, good, good. It'll be a while before we get to the iron. Well, let's wait and see, make sure it's working before we tell the rest of the the Vastin members. I should not have put in a whole stack. I should have put in like 10 or 20 or something. So 22. Oh, there's the redstone. So redstone's coming in. That's good. Anything over here? There's the torch. Oh, iron's coming in. Good sign, good sign. I think we got the whole stack of coal. 25 redstone, that's correct. Should be a whole stack of iron, right? We put in 64. Well, more than 64, I guess. Good, good, good. Now, where are the ender pearls? There we go. Beautiful. Nothing lost. All ends up where it should be. Oh, I forgot about the ice. Ice is there too. Fan freaking tastic. Love it. So bulk storage input. Uh, now we can just say full on bulk storage input. We don't have to put anything fancy. Uh, I need to do better with text art. Nope, that's too high. Uh, what's another fancy, fancy character we could use? Nope. You know what? We'll just leave it. Boop. Done. I am very happy that that is complete. I've been itching to finish this all week long after starting it. Uh, but yeah, this is looking very, very good. So I'd say that's done. All the lighting in here is good. We're not going to get any spawns. And I say we can probably move on from this and go outside and work on 
some towers, which is going to be super, super fun. Uh, I, though, need to take a short break, so I'm going to put some of this stuff back uh, in my ender chest. So signs, we'll put the hoppers back in here, redstone. All right, I'm just going to pop up into one of the little bedrooms at the top here, give myself a short break, and then we'll come back and we'll go work on some really cool stuff outside. Thank you.